What are your worst memories of high school? Were you among those that did not take to some of the science lessons? Now, imagine yourself sitting in a classroom where these subjects are taught, not on a blackboard, but a special touchscreen board that gives visual representations of these subjects, where even a Bunsen banner blazes away on the screen. Does it sound more interesting now? Well, rather than let you imagine, my colleague Sharon Momani is going to show you how a new school in Nairobi is revolutionizing education with smart learning technology. Standing tall in the heart of Mogoya Estate in Nairobi, the just-opened Nairobi Leadership Academy would appear like any other ordinary school. Get into the classroom, an ordinary is left at the door. Welcome to Smart Learning. In front of the classroom, where you would ordinarily find a black or white board, a big screen is placed. This is a smart board. Teacher Faisal is taking a group of staff through the technology that will be used for learning in the school. This is a tool for the teachers, not to replace the teachers. The device is a touch screen that allows the operator to manipulate content with the touch of a finger. There are applications for different subjects including maths, physics, chemistry, among many other subjects. The spectacular demonstrations are a benefit to the learning process as it is an interactive process that keeps the students interested. Further, the method meets the different learning needs of students from those that prefer visual properties to audio and those that like to learn practically. Um, we've got the students who are auditory students and these students are students that would like to, you know, look at, uh, a, you know, see a, a if they are learning uh, something, they need to see it, uh, you know, in a in a in a media form like a, a video. You show them. So, in, in an introduction of that lesson, uh, it, it, as a teacher, I might want to show them a video of what they are learning, and this is how they would retain that information. Structure can save the screen recording such that the students can access the lessons later in video form. The screen also has a camera through which a teacher can see his or her students while writing on the board. James, I can see you're not concentrating. <laughs> Nancy Mbugwa, a geography author and a former teacher at Alliance Boys and Kenya High Schools, is a school principal at this school, which, as its name suggests, will also focus on teaching leadership and entrepreneurial skills to high school girls. Leadership and entrepreneurship curriculum will be ingrained into the 844. The things they learn, 844 by the way is a very rich curriculum, but the things they learn, they never get a chance to practice, to put them into real life experiences. The school borrows its system from British and South African schools, particularly regarding leadership training. What caught our eyes, apart from the smart teaching boards, are the color codes of different classes that have matching seats and lockers. Students will no longer be sleeping. They sleep a lot in class, especially when the teacher is slow a little. But here the teacher cannot afford to be slow. The teacher is also excited as well. Admission of students is in progress and learning here begins in about a week's time to bring together girls from all religions and backgrounds. The fees for each term would set every parent back a minimum of 120,000 shillings per term. Sharon Momani, KTN News.